Welcome back dearies to the second edition of the theme Indigenous Rice Varieties of Tamil Nadu. We are going to celebrate and honor Pungar rice which is adorned with the name women's rice in English. As the name proclaims, it's an apt rice for women of all ages. You can ask me a question why it's so special or celebrated for women's health. Pungar rice is so rich in micronutrients like iron, magnesium, zinc and vitamin B12 compared to other red rice varieties. These nutrients are highly recommended for women right from a puberty stage to prenatal, postnatal to lactating phase and till a menopause period. Women needs to handle a lot of hormonal changes during these phases. Especially with today's lifestyle and genetically modified diet, it's taking a toll on their health. They face adverse hormonal imbalances like early puberty, conditions like PCOS, PCOD, infertility, thyroid and various uterus related issues. To ward off these challenges for your loved ones, it's better they take the right step of consuming right food at right stage. Now this punga rice comes as a life saver when consumed from the puberty stage it provides all the essential nutrients regulate their hormonal functions and boost their immune system this rice also indirectly aids to curb PCOS PCOD condition by its low carb less glycemic index and rich fiber content to get a comprehensive study on its benefits please go through my website where I have given surplus information about it I've shared the link for the same in the description box. Here I chose to make a sweet with this rice as it's the best way to introduce and inculcate the habit of eating healthy traditional rice in children's diet. Punga rice naturally has a nutty flavor. This factor eased me to try Aval Kesari with this rice flakes. Aval Kesari is a South Indian sweet pudding made with simple ingredients like rice flakes, sugar, ghee and few flavoring agents. It's an alternative recipe for Kesari which is traditionally prepared with semolina. Here I used my mom's way of preparation. She generally soaked the flakes for some time. Once it puffs up, saute in little ghee, add sugar, flavoring and garnishing ingredients. Tada! Your instant aval kesari is ready at your table for serving. It's way too easy, can be prepared by a newbie as well. This kesari has a completely different texture. You can feel the texture of rice, still smooth and silky. It can be compared to rice kheer but in condensed form. Taste is so divine that you need to experience it. Using my mom's recipe, I made a healthy twist by replacing the white rice flakes with this traditional rice variety, punga rice and included dates to boost its health benefits. If punga rice flakes is unavailable to you, feel free to use red rice flakes or other traditional rice flake varieties. You will get more or less the same results. Now let's kickstart this simple and easy recipe. For this, you need to take half cup of punga rice flakes Wash it thoroughly 2-3 times till the dirts are removed. Put your hands in and mix it every time you wash. Drain the water completely and add fresh water measuring half cup and let it soak for one hour or till the water gets absorbed completely. After the given soaking time, rice flakes would have bloomed and puffed up. Also water would have been completely absorbed. Now do the texture test. It's by squeezing a kernel between your fingers, it should be soft and easily mashable. If it's not soft and still grainy, water has also been completely absorbed. Sprinkle some more water and extend the soaking time. If it's soft enough, then run through a fork to disturb the flakes and separate it from each other. Then take a masher or simply use your hand to smash it completely. Now let's move on to the mainstream action. Heat a pan or kadai with 1 tablespoon ghee, add the crushed punga rice flakes, saute it for couple of minutes. Once the crushed punga rice flakes has been sorted for couple of minutes, add 2 big soft chopped dates, quarter teaspoon cardamom powder, few strands of saffron mixed in 1 tablespoon hot milk, quarter cup sugar, a pinch of salt and a 1 tablespoon mixed nuts powder. Finally combine everything into a single mass. 
It will take roughly 2 to 3 minutes in medium flame for the sugar and dates to melt and combine well. If you are skipping mixed nuts, powder and dates, then increase 2 more tablespoons of sugar along with a quarter cup of sugar already added. Finally, add a teaspoon of ghee, combine it well with the kesari and switch off the flame. It doesn't require any added color like kesari as pungar rice naturally imparts a nice golden brown color to the dish. Finally, garnish with the broken cashews. Your soft, smooth, silky punga rice aval kesari or women's rice pudding is ready to relish. Each scoop will be a heavenly delight. Though the ingredient and preparation sound simple, its taste and flavor are divine and unrivaled. Nutty, sweet flavor of the punga rice elevates and lifts the aval kesari to a sublime experience. You can check my last week black rice or karpakauni rice idlis with restaurant style tomato red chutney. Next week it's going to be an exciting recipe. Yes, it's an eggless no-bake cheesecake with a Scottish touch. This special post is a gift for my viewers on the occasion of Valentine's Day. When I discovered cooking, I discovered myself, so can you.